Hey guys, I am back with another video, and happy Thursday. So, yes, um, I forgot to make a video about this, like, last week or two weeks ago. So, <coughs> um, yep, AE AEW Fight Forever received their new DLC that came out at the end of August, which was, like, two weeks ago from today, and that is the Limitless Bunny DLC pack. Um, yep, uh, I was surprised that the DLC was coming out at the end of, of last month, but what a lot of people don't get on why it was delayed is it because, like, it was, like, they were trying to work on, like, the characters, like, Scan the characters look in the game like Keith Lee and the bunny. But yes, there is also a another reason why um this was originally supposed to come out in July because it was supposed to come out on the 25th, like the DLC itself. But again, it was delayed. So Keith Lee, um, he looks way much better than how he looked in w WWE 2K22. Because, uh, from, like, from that, from last year's game, because, yes, again, he was in last year's game. He had the wrist tape on. Well, he didn't have the wrist tape on. All he had on was the elbow pad. But in AEW Fight Forever's DLC, he had on the wrist tape. The bunny, um... Some people said that uh, they kind of need to work on her, like, features, like her face model. Like, uh, what's wrong with the face model? Like, is it, like, is it people seeing the same thing like they did with uh, The Rock and John Cena's hair, that one wrestling game? Well... Mostly that one wrestling game that nobody likes, WWE 2K20. Ugh, don't even know why I mentioned that game. But, um, anyway guys, uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.